hello everyone welcome back to another vlog we're starting this vlog off strong because we got a very exciting package in the mail obviously it's home decor i ordered this like irregular asymmetrical looking mirror off zara home and i have not shopped off of zara home before so i was very nervous and it was a pretty good price or like a decent price compared to what i was seeing for this kind of mirror and i literally just couldn't wait like i had to open the box and check it out i'm gonna repackage it when we actually move but let me show you okay i took it out of the box but this is what it looks like isn't it so cute it's like got this irregular shape the oh boss 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 move <laughs> the side here is like black wood and then it's got hooks on the back but i think excuse me sir sir Sir, I think it's like the perfect size. I'm gonna put it over my little vanity desk and use it as like a little wall mirror that I can like peep my makeup, peep my like little fit in as well. But it is such a good size. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I will put this in my bio in case you guys are looking for a mirror like this. I love it so far. And now I'm gonna try and put it back in the box so that it's ready for moving. Lorna is. We're starting off the weekend with some sun. Good vibes only here, okay? And I'm finally gonna work out after taking an entire week off hiatus, okay? Don't judge me for literally sitting on my ass for the last seven days. I was healing from my mouth wounds, which has nothing to do with my physical body abilities but somehow in my mind they are correlated and that is why i did not work out for a full week like look i was suffering a bruise okay i could not work out absolutely not also can we just talk about the fact that i'm eons late to watching emma chamberlain's vlogs and now i love them i do i do love them i'm sorry i do she's she's chill she's chill vibes okay like that's exactly what i want to see in a vlog as like my background noise while i'm working out so that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay okay bye okay so i decided to torture myself during that workout and keep my hoodie on i was like you haven't sweat in many many days consecutive days so you're actually just going to suffocate in your sweater instead so now i'm dripping with sweat i've ruined the sweater i need to shower excuse me but hear me out i also got really fixated on my carpet while i was working out this carpet i am bringing this carpet with me to put in my office in the new place why am i filming at this angle anyways and i just got really fixated and was like how do i clean a carpet because I bet you, I bet you this carpet is not supposed to be this color. I bet you it's supposed to be a lot more white than it is. Um, and I would like to know how to clean it without buying those like, those like huge vacuum watery things. So I Googled it and I don't know how to clean the color out, but I am going to give it a good vacuum. So I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna do that, okay? Okay, we just finished showering and now I'm going to make a smoothie even though it is freezing out here. And then I'm gonna gather my supplies for said carpet cleaning. Please wish me luck. This seems like a large feat to take on without any prior knowledge, but you know what? I believe in myself. Not that anybody cares, but I put frozen berries, fresh blueberries, spinach, water, and some agave syrup. Oh, and a banana. Delicious. This is about to be the most first world problem thing that you've ever heard, but I freaking can't stand that mixed berries have so many little seeds. Like I just feel seeds all up in my mouth, you know? Okay, I'm genuinely wondering if I should actually clean my carpet. Like I'm already feeling hesitant about it. And it's been like approximately five minutes since I declared that I was going to do it. So we're off to a really good start. The instructions online for hand washing your carpet are as follows. First, you need to smack the shit out of it on your porch to get all of the debris off. Then you need to vacuum both sides until every time you flip it over, there's no more debris left on the floor. Then after that, you're supposed to mix a little potion concoction of dish soap, mild dish soap, I don't know, what i have i feel like i got the extra strong shit mix it with some water to make this like cleaner that you then sponge the entire thing and then you let the cleaner soak into the carpet for who knows how long at this point i'm assuming it's sopping wet so i'm unsure where i'm going to do this first of all then after that you gotta rinse it okay so you gotta take like a freaking hose so that the cleaner comes out and then you let it dry so a how long is that gonna take b where do I do this? Because it's also kind of rainy and wet in Vancouver. And see what's the worst that could happen, you know? Is it really that dirty? I don't know. Maybe I would have already done it and this voiceover would have been me explaining how to clean a carpet. Or maybe we didn't do it at all. 
it's a surprise for both you and I. I wanna see something gross? All of these freaking little stains here are from when I had to get on my hands and knees and bleach my carpet from the other side because this, this, oh, look at that stain. This little shit decided to throw up or pee or whatever. As a puppy, he's absolutely destroyed this carpet, but you know what? It's fine. We forgive and we forget. Don't touch that. Quick intermission, my vacuum ran out of battery and I forgot on my smoothie. I also have to change my shirt because I was sweating through mine, which is really great because I just showered. But while I wait for it to charge, I'm going to edit my last vlog. Feast your eyes. I'm not gonna zoom in any closer, but feast your eyes on my high school photo. Tragic, tragic times. I just finished editing the vlog. It is exporting. Let's see if my freaking vacuum is charged. Okay, there's a slight chance that I actually broke the Dyson vacuum because the light is on, meaning that like the battery is batterying um, and it still won't suck. So, so we brought out the heavy duty guy, okay? I'm out of breath because I carried this upstairs and we're just gonna keep keep on keeping. Okay, we're onto the step where we have our dish soap and our water and our sponge. I feel like this is the point of no return. Like this is where, Whatever happens to this rug happens to this rug. So send good thoughts my way, even though this is past me. Let's do this. Okay, I just got on my hands and knees, scrubbed the shit out of it. I like literally ruined the sponge. So I feel like I deep cleaned it enough. I'm gonna be real, my Dawn was like extra strength, not any of that mild dental stuff. But you know what? This rug has seen a lot of shit and it's not like a wool or like handmade rug. It's literally from Ikea. So like, Really, I could have just bought a new one, but here we are trying not to waste things. Now comes the tough part. Once we let it sit for a bit and let the soap just like soak and lift all the dirt, we need to like hose it off, but it is dirty outside and I'm not gonna do that in here. I have an idea, okay, bear with me. You may now refer to me as a genius. I used my mom's drying clothing and I propped this up here. I'm not gonna lie, it was not graceful to get this rug to drape over there. So apologies to any of my neighbors who saw me lift it literally over my head and almost break my neck. So we're gonna hose it off because it is threatening to rain in one hour according to the weather network. So let's fucking go. Okay, this is the part where I don't know what happens. Like it's sopping wet. Do I like wring it out with my hands? I'ma try. We had a bit of an altercation. Basically, I thought it would be easier for the rug to dry if it was facing downwards so that like the water could fall off because it wasn't really soaking through the backing of the rug. I don't know what's going on there, which required me to flip the rug without having it touch the ground because the ground be dirty. And the rug was extremely heavy because it was soaked in a bunch of water. It was another just gorgeous, glamorous sight of me trying to flip it while remaining on the rack without tipping over the rack. And I mean, I did it, but I also broke the rack a little bit. So like one side is no longer up, it's just like down and I couldn't fix it with the rug on top of it. So it's just gonna remain that way. The rug is still too wet and too heavy to move back into the sunroom. So I'm hoping in the next, like however long before it starts raining, it dries enough and like enough water drips off of it to be able to move it back inside for it to dry for the rest of its days inside. That's all my updates. We're now nearing the point in time where I actually have to get ready and like get on with my life. Life. I have plans later. I need to like feed and walk my dog before these plans. There's a lot of things to get done. So let's just get ready, shall we? I swear one of these days you will see me wear something else that is not these jeans, but today is not that day. We have a very similar fit from my last vlog if you haven't seen that. What are you doing? But this oversized blazer is from Oakenfort. It's so comfy. High neck crop tank is from Zara. AliExpress is the necklace. Princess Polly better sponsor me for wearing these jeans every day. And this is the fit. I'm going to get happy hour oysters with my two girlfriends to celebrate one of my friends finishing her CPA exam. It is quite rainy out. So hopefully this outfit doesn't go to waste and this hair doesn't go to waste because I mean, y'all saw what I looked like before. This is a glow up, right? Right? Catch you on the flip side. You guys, we're going to the strip club. <laughs> Outfits. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we didn't know what to do. So we are going to the strip club. 
I have not been to a strip club in Vancouver before, so we shall see how it goes. All right, we're at the strip club now in a lineup, so we'll see if we actually fucking get it. Long lineup. It is a long lineup. Good morning. I would be lying if I said that I didn't get too drunk last night. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Sometimes it happens and now I shall be having an extremely lazy Sunday. I was really not planning on feeling this way today, but unfortunately, here we are. I swear I'm a responsible adult. If there's one thing that fixes everything, it is ramen. I need to eat literally all of this in the next two seconds. I'm so hungry. Don't you just love it when you eat like hot foods and you're wearing glasses and you're just like. <sighs> wow, I look amazing right now. I just took my dog out for a little run. I'm telling you right now, if you need something to motivate you to get up and get moving and continue on with your days, get a dog rug update the rug has been out in the sunroom drying off for the last 24 hours once it's completely finished drying they recommend either going over it with like a soft brush and or vacuuming it again just to fluff it back up hi future sam here um don't listen to anything past sam said about cleaning your carpet i recommend that you just leave it dirty vacuum it if you will but if you even remotely get it wet get ready to be trying to take away the smell Yes, the smell. The smell of like mildew and like mold and bleh, bleh, out of your carpet for the rest of your life because it has been 72 hours since I did that. It's still not even completely dry. It smells like shit. I don't know what to do. Do not do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, goodbye. Also, let's just talk about last night for a second since we're already here. Basically, we we're just kind of looking for something to do, go out, have a little night on the town and celebrate my friend for finishing her exams. So we got that oyster happy hour. Then we came home and like pre-drank, I guess. Like it felt like we were pre-drinking even though it was just the three of us. Played beer pong, flip cup, the whole nine. And then we headed downtown and went to the strip club. Now, hear me out, okay? This is where everything went wrong in terms of leading up to my demise. I made friends with a bartender. He was super, super nice, super chill. And I thought I would just be fun and spontaneous and be like, oh, just like make me a yummy drink. Like make me a cocktail that's like so different, which was like all fun and games until I realized that I was mixing just a bunch of different alcoholic drinks and sugar and syrups and all that stuff. So not long after that, I uh, actually just kind of passed away. It was not a fun ride home. I will tell you that. I'm not gonna go into details, but I'm sure you can guess. And then when I got home, I was like really cold and felt really gross and like dirty. So I decided to just run a full bubble bath in like the drunkest state of my entire life. Am I low-key impressed with myself? A 100% am I glad that I went to bed clean? 225% for sure. Am I wondering where this energy came from? I literally don't know how I did that. That was not me. That was Pam. It wasn't me. Let's just consider this the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really like documenting my day to day and just talking to y'all. So if you liked it, stay a while, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. It'll all be in the description. Love you.